House Bill 806, Gateways to Opportunity Professional Development System, is actually um, putting together a system in Illinois that benefits all of the people who care for all of the children in all of our centers and homes throughout the state of Illinois. And when you think about what children need more than anything else in their life is they need stability in their caregiving and they need skilled and qualified people caring for them. This is a really exciting day and every time we take a step on behalf of children and the kind of a day that they have while their mothers and fathers are working is a good day because at the end of the day children must matter most or none of us have any business doing the work that we do. Now this bill I'm going to sign today is very, very important because we make a commitment to that human infrastructure. Uh, Jacqueline Kennedy was uh, is the widow of the late President Kennedy when I was growing up. I remember her saying that if you bungle raising your children, nothing else in life matters. And so I think we have to take those words to heart in Illinois. I've had to make some tough decisions in the past year about how we finance our government. And I don't want to lose a generation of children. And I want to make sure that as we go through this coming year, the people of Illinois know what the stakes are. We've got to invest in education. We've got to invest in health care and in human services. We've got to make sure that we have a decent state. Some bills have their genesis many years ago, and that's the case with House Bill 806. Liz is a product of daycare and preschool, in fact, at the Fermi National Laboratory, where she was at the Children's Center there from the time she was a few weeks old up through kindergarten. And her experiences there convinced me of how important preschool education is, as well as how we need to make sure it is well integrated into our overall education plan. And 806 does that on two fronts. Part of it through the credentialing process that we've already heard about, also by making sure that the laws permit students who've had a good preschool education to be able to transition smoothly into first grade and regular public school. And that was an experience that I drew out of our family's experience with Liz going from the Fermilab daycare and preschool into the public schools and I think with this new law today, it'll be an experience that'll be much smoother for everybody going forward. Uh, Representative Fortner uh, mentioned that this bill started in a slightly different form, and it was to address a very particular problem. And, and some folks might say, well, that's a pretty small problem. But this all, bill is also an example of how we can help real families facing real issues for them. How do you transition a young child who's ready to go and gets caught up in arbitrary age restrictions? This is providing some flexibility to families who need it. And I'm very proud of our efforts. I thank the representative for his work and sharing the vehicle as we, as we uh, worked on the professional development as well. Uh, but I hope that this really does matter to a lot of families in Illinois. The title of it is Gateways to Opportunity. Now, opportunity is something that everybody in America and everybody in Illinois believes in. We pay a lot of lip service to it. But we have to have deeds to match our words. So this bill today, I think, is one of the ways of matching deeds to the rhetoric we uh, use every day about taking care of our kids.